The Wisconsin environment is supportive of the energy power and control cluster. There's academic institutions here, there's a skilled workforce, there's government institutions that are willing to partner with you to grow what is the leading edge cluster of businesses and academic institutions here in the state. Uh, it's a place to be. There are roughly 900 companies in the energy power and control space. There's roughly 100,000 employees across the state with $38 billion of revenue. Energy power and controls is important because it, it strikes at the root of virtually uh, every form of machinery and technology that does work. And there's a widening recognition that the future of productive manufacturing is going to be powered by alternate renewable energy sources. And we are in a perfect position to influence this trend going forward because the IP that's resident across these 900 companies in Wisconsin is, is substantial. The uh, importance of power in Wisconsin is, is probably quite significant going forward, maybe even a major driver. Um, because so much manufacturing and um, engine production is within the state. Um, and it's not only Generac in uh, backup power generators that has a presence in Wisconsin, but a number of our competitors are also based uh, right here nearby. Um, and so I think uh, for the foreseeable future, Wisconsin will be a uh, center of excellence for energy and power production. We're very fortunate to have a very strong industrial base here in the state of Wisconsin related to energy power and controls. Um, from generator companies to those who are involved with electrical motors and power electronics um, and beyond, um, we really have great resource here for the university in terms of the partnerships that we've developed. Um, to help support the research that's happening here, but then also to help, again, the transfer of our technologies out into the marketplace. It really is this industry-university collaboration that can make such a difference in terms of you know, leveraging sort of the expertise of both groups together to then help solve these complex problems. The energy consumption is, is going up. People are demanding more needs for energy, and. And conversely, we have to look at diverse ways of providing that. So, you know, who would have thought 20 years ago you'd have uh, an engineering facility on a, on a very large dairy that could provide enough energy to take care of the, the energy needs of a small residential community. We've got a world-class digester company that has uh, 350 of these in Europe. They know the technology. Uh, and we've got a university committed to green principles. Uh, it, it couldn't have come together any better than, than that. We are really looking to support the, the full ecosystem of these energy technologies. So from the basic research to the applied research to again, the transfer of these technologies into the marketplace. And that means it's really important to be involved with industry. And WEDC is an important part of that process in terms of connecting, especially startup companies and others, you know, to them as a resource and helping them make advances in terms of bringing their technologies um, to the marketplace. Wisconsin's Technical Foundation is a, is a wonderful place to grow EPC technology. And it's because we have um, engineering talent of all kinds here. And uh, it's that mixture of raw ingredients um, and talent um, that allows innovation and engineering depth to really flourish. American Transmission Company and the other utilities in the state of Wisconsin are among the best in the nation. And that's because we have great leadership and a very talented workforce. What we do all day, every day, is to ensure the reliability of the electric system so that businesses can keep their businesses running, but also have a very positive impact on the cost of energy as well as the ability to access renewable energy, which is very important to businesses today. If you are growing a new business, have a new idea. There's capital to invest. There is human capital here. There's footprint to go put factories and research laboratories right here that are all in Wisconsin. It's the place to be if you need to go grow in the energy power control space.